She went into the restaurant, waited. He was waiting in the car. She waited for an hour. The guy, according to her, did not show. She left. And the guy said she wait, he waited in the car for an oh. hour. And she did show. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, if man. they talked, all this could have been aired yeah. out. Ten years down the road, they will not be talking about yeah. the same, same thing. Because okay? Mm -hmm. So there's that incident. And then there's another incident. I'm telling you, this is typical wife syndrome. Mm -hmm. There's another incident about buying beddings. Oh dear, no. You know, because she was living out of town. Every time she, she was working out of town. Yeah. Every time she would come, she would complain about, you know, guys, he he, yeah. he stays there alone. Yeah. He has one pillow. He's okay with one yeah. pillow. So every Are time okay she comes, she has no pillow. <laughs> I couldn't be. Oh so pillow. she talked about she took back at the guy got so upset, left at the middle of the to go and buy a pillow, brought it and the way he did it, she got <laughs> offended. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That hurt her. Yeah. But they never got to address the to issue. And then I'm reading word by word, you know. Um no, she when um, you can imagine, um, because I try to understand both sides. Mm -hmm. Uh like we said, this guy has all these um people to support. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, sometimes as a wife, eh, you have an oopsie, you get pregnant oh, yeah. without you no know, one of those unplanned pregnancy, yeah, sure. which is supposed to be a joy because a baby is mm -hmm. always a blessing. Yeah. But you can imagine this particular moment, he's taking care of all these people, and then he comes home and the wife tells her, Guess what? We're expecting mm -hmm. a baby. Oh dear. Can you imagine his reaction? Yeah, and you expect uh, ooh, exactly, and okay. you're thinking this is your baby, mm -hmm. and you're upset because I'm pregnant, and you're taking care of all these other yeah, people. This she took it very badly, mm -hmm. but you could understand the guy. She's thinking we should have planned for that. We mm -hmm. already have one baby. You sh we should have planned for that. So again, miscommunication there. Yeah. They did not talk. Everybody was hurting. It. He, of course, we we we. we talked about men being logical the logic thing for, for for them to do was to plan for the second baby if they mm. were ever to have another baby and her maybe she she didn't do it on purpose if by the time she came to realize she was yeah. pregnant it was like three months down the line down yeah. the line okay uh, but the reaction mm -hmm. the way they the guy reacted it really really hurt her mm -hmm. okay and then she thought even when the baby um when she gave birth to be to the baby the husband never bonded with the baby and that mm -hmm. really really hurt her mm -hmm. if you want to hurt a woman i talked about this the yeah. last time if you really mm -hmm. want to hurt mm -hmm. your wife is for you to like what happened with these two people okay and then there was another saga where um, i don't know the sister-in-law was living with them uh so he thought okay there are two babies they said the sister-in-law also had a baby again problems they never go to address that particular issue yeah. now this is a list i was given by them by wow. the wife all those things the guy did and did and did now the most interesting part was every time she would bring this up mm -hmm. mm, uh, the wife, the husband would not want to discuss. He's a very quiet guy. Yeah. Remember, he just told the guy, the the wife, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. And, and then, <laughs> that was the explanation. <laughs> He's a man of few words, mm -hmm. you know. And most of the time, ask you want to be explained. And even if you love me, you know, don't bring me flowers to show me you love me. Bring me the flowers and tell, tell me, me how much yeah. you love me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how we how that's how we are by nature. So you can imagine. There's so many things I have number one up to twelve here of mm -hmm. what the wife said. He did this and this and this. And every time I would call for, for us to discuss, you know, he would not want to talk. And about if I start uh, if I bring up a discussion about this and this, he leaves. So what was I supposed to say? And a couple of times I've talked to him about the problems, you know, his brothers, the way they they do things in the house, they do this and that and that, and then there was a mother in law issue before she passed on. Uh, the guy said, but then this is my family. You whether if you don't, if you have you a like problem with my family, yeah, you can oh. leave. Oh dear, you know. And a couple of times she's left, and the guy never went for her. Decided let me come back, and that's the same reason why she quit her job from out of town mm. to come and join the family in Nairobi. And you can imagine, she left a couple of times because she decided now with these two babies, where am I going? Yeah. So I'm sticking around. So the safest thing for me to do is to keep quiet and just leave. leave. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, to stay with this with this man and take care of my kids because where am I going to go? Mm -hmm. they, she had a job which was not paying very well. The husband was not happy with it or at least the comment she used to make, she thought it, he was not happy with the job. So you can imagine. So is he to, is he refusing to talk about these issues that hurt her so much to this day from dating back even before they were married um, because of the stresses that he's going through and he's thinking if we start revisiting these mm -hmm. issues you know you're just going to clog my head even further not or? really not really i think mm -hmm. uh she would bring up the issues when she's very upset oh, so okay. it comes out like she's telling the husband off mm -hmm. 
You understand? I think that's how it used to, ca to come out. Mm -hmm. And the guy would not want to discuss the problems, mm -hmm. okay? And not talk, you know, men out there need to understand. You know, the only way we can heal inside if we speak out mm -hmm. whatever is hurting us. In, in my sometimes you don't even have to give a solution. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to agree with her. The fact that you allow her to say whatever it is in her heart, that's good that's enough. enough. She feels better. Mm -hmm. And if you can offer a solution, even the better. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's all she needed do, to do. So she didn't. Mm -hmm. She was not able to do that. So she kept quiet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing which I found to be very, very interesting, she didn't have a house help. You so get what I'm saying? And she's living with grown men. So sometimes she will leave to go to the salon and come back home. Of course, as uh, she has two kids, she doesn't want to take care of the full uh, grown people. Mm -hmm. She will take care of her kids. You get? So yeah. this is a little bit deeper, you know, this kind of, mm -hmm. But the, the, the point is, husband and wife, we don't talk about these things. Yeah. We don't. And um, sometimes communication goes to zero. Mm -hmm. When you're talking, addressing these kind of matters, uh, of course, temperatures are running high. Yeah. And uh, you, you don't talk, you yell. Mm -hmm. You know, and the minute you yell at a guy, we agreed the last time, the more you insult and the more you yell, the more they yeah, withdraw and the more they resist. Mm -hmm. So I, re uh, I, I thought this is, I realized this is what was happening between the two of them. Mm -hmm. So everybody decided, I'll come home late, I'll go, do extra hours, come home, eat and sleep. Mm. You get okay, and when you come, your food is there. We sleep. So it's like you're more like housemates. You're not even a married. Couple. This is when I say we are married, yet mm -hmm. we are not so lonely. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine uh, the husband was thinking, ah, sex here, it I can stay, want, yeah. and the wife's thinking. It doesn't come my way. He doesn't ask, so he doesn't even love me. He doesn't desire me. Maybe there's somebody out there. So, so many things are going around. Mm -hmm. But when I realized, when I, I actually, I assessed the whole situation, I thought, no, this is just a communication Problem. breakdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, just like you mentioned, the things that were bothering her, mm -hmm. I think, um, in my opinion, rather, if I can see it from another view, mm -hmm. is that you need to deal with each situation right there and then. Because... Now she's hurting from mm -hmm. all these things, these pains mm -hmm. from, you know, like, let's say the one for the pillow. If mm -hmm. she just told him, why do you have your own <laughs> pillow? You know, no, she kept why, asking you know, to buy. You yeah, know, why, you, next time buy four pillows. Well, I don't know. Maybe I might seem like I'm on this guy's side, but I'm yeah. thinking a pillow is not that important to him. Yeah. He has major, serious bills to pay. Yeah, he has so if you want to buy, why don't you just go and buy, buy the, the pillow? pillow. Yeah. You know, I have a job and I have a business to run so I can feed all these people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So a pillow here didn't look like much of her. Yeah. You know, she, he, I'm sure this guy will not even remember about the pillow story. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to remember any of these yeah, things, this lady. Stories. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, and then also, just uh, before we go on a break, um, I'm trying to figure out really, because it's it's such a complex situation, mm -hmm. but it, should you now at that point reach a point where you both need to understand each other's situations and stresses? Like if she was able to understand, okay, fine, mm -hmm. I understand we have three kids mm -hmm. and you're taking care of um, your 10 people. So there are times when... Before I start saying you have Mpangwa Kanda, mm -hmm, I understand mm -hmm. you have a lot on your plate. And mm -hmm. him is also to understand that, okay, my wife is also being kind of neglected, if mm -hmm. I can say, because mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. this. Should we reach a point where, okay, I understand the situation, but not adapt to the problem? Uh, exactly. Uh, what, what I think... Um other than adopting to the problem, what these guys have done, it's safer to just keep quiet. Oh you see, yeah. the wife would not have come for help or look mm -hmm. for help. Okay? Yeah, she a, decided, this is my life, I'm going to live, you yeah. know, this kind of uh, a, a life. And the husband thought, eh, hey, okay. I think uh, the husband, at first, he was very close to the mother. Mm -hmm. The mother passed on. And then the father, after the father messed him up a couple of times, decided the only person who can support me is the wife. When he came back to the wife, he realized there's a very big gap. Uh, yeah. You know, the okay. wife was not reaching out to him, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, the, he had neglected the wife all this time, yeah. you know, and decided, okay, this is your family and everything has got everything to do with your family and I'm just here. Like, she told me about a carpet. The guy just decided uh, this house needs a carpet. Remember, she doesn't have a house up. So when this guy came home with a carpet to make the house more classy or more beautiful, yeah. this lady thought, we don't have a maid. Yeah. This carpet needs to Me be too. cleaned every day. Yeah. Why would you do that? You see what I'm, I'm telling mm -hmm. you? And the guy thought, okay, now I need to do something for my wife. Sounds mm -hmm. reminds me of my husband. Yeah. On my birthday one time, this <laughs> brother showed up <laughs> with a <that> microwave. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> story for another day. Yeah. So to him, because, you know, I had been scheming and hinting. Oh, I wanted one. Everybody yeah. that, that time had one. And we didn't have one, so I hinted. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to save this. So during her birthday, I'm going to show up. But to me, I was like, what? About microwave <laughs> my birthday? <laughs> this is, when you come, you're the one who comes late. Yeah. So this microwave is actually for you. I warm your food in this microwave. Mm. And to him, he says, what? You've been hinting. Yeah, oh, this so what do you want? <laughs> so I thought I saw, so you see how yeah. he couldn't understand. Yeah. And he was so, so upset with me. You're so ungrateful. Mm. I saved up to buy that microwave. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm thinking, no way. Yeah. This microwave is for the family. You can't buy me a microwave for my mm -hmm. birthday. So I'm thinking it's the same same thing which happened. Mm -hmm. Thought, okay, maybe to bring, to become close. You know, like I said, and we'll have a whole show on um, um, his language of love. Yeah. Men express their love or compassion in different ways. Mm -hmm. Some men think by buying something for the house, I'm pleasing my wife. Oh, wife but yeah. to her, it was... It's something for the uh, house, it's not for me. Not even that. Yeah. More work. More work, yeah, Before, yeah. I just used to sweep this house. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to literally kneel and brush this carpet because mm -hmm. they don't have a house. Yeah. So, that's how it... Every time the guy will try and do something mm -hmm. for the home or for the wife, the wife will take it like... And then, the other thing is, uh, he never asked her. Mm. Maybe you should have said, oh, you should have brought a red one or should have brought uh, yeah. a, a blue one. He just showed up home with a with carpet. carpet. That's the other thing men mm. do. And they're thinking they're doing us favors. And then we we have other things in our heads. Mm. Okay? So uh, it's a typical wife syndrome, and I'm telling you. Yeah. And this is a typical Kenyan marriage. Mm -hmm. We are married, yes, we are so lonely. We live in different worlds, mm -hmm. you know? And it's because we don't talk. We yeah. do not communicate. We don't discuss these things. We do not plan together as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll take a short break now, but when we come back, we'll be able to sort of continue with uh, this whole discussion and get to, as always, ha the favorite part of the show, the love tip. She'll be back with that. So stay tuned to K24.